Well, I've uh, decided to recondition this old dado play that I picked up at a flea market. It's an old Sandusky plane, and I've done a little work on it so far. And I just thought I'd make a couple of quick videos here about the progress of it. So, um, a dado plane cuts only one width. And in this particular case, it's uh, 13 sixteenths. And uh, I think I paid $10 for this thing. Um, so the body is in uh, pretty bad shape. So uh, I've got some turpentine here, uh, which is uh, a good thing for cleaning up old planes since the original finishes were uh, probably a 50-50 mix of um, turpentine and linseed oil and that was tr the uh, traditional uh, finish for uh, wooden, wooden planes back in the day and uh, this has taken some of the some of the grit and grime off of it this one will never be pretty. In fact, I had planned on uh, remaking the uh, body of the plane just for a little project, but uh, decided I'd try to give it a go here and see if I couldn't clean it up, make it run again. And uh, a dado plane is probably not something that you keep in your arsenal of planes unless you're strictly a hand tool woodworker um, because there are of course simpler maybe not quieter ways of uh, of cutting a dado nowadays so um, You've got this depth stop here, which you, know, you can screw down and uh, set to stop at a particular depth. The um, wedges <coughs> were not the original wedges. Uh, you can uh, see that the blade has to be sitting at an angle, so the wedge has to uh, be cut at an angle. So this one wasn't. So I uh, hand plated it down uh, to match the angle there, and uh, you can see it fits in there better, but it's still not long enough. It should. It comes out to about here. And it should come out to about there, but um, it'll uh, it'll hold it in place. And if we get too much chatter, then we'll play with it. Both the blades needed sharpening, and uh, there's nothing magical about sharpening it. I uh, sharpened it on the stone and uh, used a, a guide for it and. Uh, had it pretty sharp. So uh, that's ready to go here. And then uh, the dado plane has a knicker which cuts the fibers to either side of the uh, the opening to the to the dado opening. This is a 1316, so and these of course needed sharpening. So I just filed uh, the inside here and then used a stone to uh, sharpen them to a point. I mean they were to a point before, but now they're uh, they're pretty sharp and they cut across the fibers uh, when it it goes. And then the same thing, whoever. Put this thing together. Didn't include a wedge that was proper for uh, in here. So again, I 
planed it down so that it would fit. Yeah, and it still uh, would be, should be probably a little bit smaller, but it provides support down to about the tip, the tip of it. And uh, of course you can, you know, bang them in with a hammer then. And uh, so we'll give it a shot and uh, see how well it cuts uh, now that uh, we've kind of reconditioned it. Uh, again, the body is uh, pretty well banged up from somebody throwing it into a tool chest uh, all these years. So uh, after sharpening the blades and cleaning up the body uh, a little bit, uh, I've started to, uh, and of course I planed the the two wedges um, because they weren't the, the wedges that uh, came with it. So I've got the knicker in place here and it's just just barely protruding uh, from the uh, body. We can, uh, and I got a board here with a fence on it. And you can see the line that it's cutting. And uh, you can't see the other one because it's up against the fence, but uh, there's the line that the, uh, the knicker will cut. So that seems pretty good there. So now you have to adjust the uh, plane blade till it just comes out like you do with the other wooden plane. And we're not, not cutting anything in. Maybe a hair on the inside, but none on the other side. Now we're taking a actually a pretty heavy shaving there. It seems to be taking it off. Pretty even. Could be a little thinner. So we'll see if we can back it out at all. did back out of here so it's taking a, a finer shaving now than it was in the beginning so you can see I wiggled there a little bit in the beginning which would have made a nice uh, groove on the inside of my chest but uh, 
So it looks like it's a user at this point. So uh, we've got a little practicing to do, but uh, I think it's uh, going to work. Well, as you can see, I've been uh, playing with the plane here a little bit and uh, have cut a few dados here and um, it works pretty well. And I'm waxing the uh, a little wax on the bottom here to make it run a little better. I'm taking a, a lighter cut than I was in the beginning. It's set, the uh, depth is set at about a sixteenth of an inch. But uh, you can see the line here uh, as I'm starting to take a little material off. on the bottom makes it run a lot a lot better we should be bottoming out here any second on the uh, on the wood here from the shoe that's on the bottom here and uh, that's a pretty nice dado there so uh, it's running real good so maybe we'll give it a shot next time I got to cut a dado